Hello guys, Shikuchi here of Genuine Gaming sharing with you some combat tips for Robin on a hard difficulty and specially made for solo playing. These tips are also helpful when playing with a partner. If you feel my tips are lacking or if you want to add something, feel free to add them at the comment section below. I am separating my combat tips for each character because contrary to some game reviewers who said that all characters play the same way, well, I would say that is totally a 100% not true. Each character is unique in Gotham Knights. Try to ask people who play this game more than 50 hours and have played all 4 characters. They would know the difference. Their time attacks are different, some are faster, some are slower. Their playstyle is different. Let me begin this series with Robin. Overview Robin is quick and light-footed of all the 4 characters. He is squishy and does not hit that hard compared to all other 3 heroes. His strength is in the stealthy approach to combat and the application of elemental damage against their enemies. Skills to prioritize If you want to play Robin on hard difficulty, make sure that you invest on these following skills. Under the Shadow Skill Tree, Stealth Damage Plus. This skill increases Robin's damage while undetected. It increases melee and range attacks by 10%, damage to takedowns and stealth strikes by 20%. Turnabout Takedown this skill enables Robin to perform takedowns and stealth strikes on large enemies. What is the difference between takedowns and stealth strikes? Takedowns are instant stealth, they knock out enemies, while stealth strike just greatly damage an enemy. These skills are very important when you open or start a combat. If you are Robin, you would want to start a combat with a stealth takedown and not stealth strike. A stealth takedown would give Robin bonuses for a few seconds. Then under the Tinkering Tree, Elemental Charge. This skill enables Robin to inflict elemental effects with 25% faster buildup. Enhance Elemental Effects. This skill enables Robin Elemental Effect to last twice long. This skill is very useful for crowd control. With this skill combined with fireworks, will allow Robin to fight one enemy at a time. Elemental Burst. This will enable Robin to gain a 5% chance of dealing additional elemental damage in an area with his elemental damage. This skill also reduces enemy's elemental effect resistance by 50% for 10 seconds. I would suggest to invest in this tree as soon as you gain gears that can deal elemental effects. Then under the Knighthood tree, Combat Expertise. This adds an extra heat to Robin's melee and ranged combos. Once you unlock the Knighthood Tree, I would suggest to invest immediately on this skill. Self Takedown Plus This skill enables Robin to get a 15 second boost in damage, critical chance, defense, and elemental effect build up when Robin does a Stealth Takedown. This skill is the very reason why you need to begin a combat with a Stealth Takedown and not a Stealth Strike so that you have a boost on your offensive and defensive skills. The following are the momentum abilities that I suggest that you would use often. Ball Spin Robin rapidly spins his ball staff deflecting incoming projectiles and inflicting damage on nearby enemies. What I like about this skill is that Robin is pretty much invincible when he performs this ability. He may still get damage but he never gets disrupted when performing this ability. Cloak Robin cloaks himself making him undetectable to enemies and security systems. Remember your stealth damage plus skill? This is one way of increasing your damage for the next attack or takedown. Fireworks Robin launches a combustible pellet that explodes into fireworks, inflicting elemental effect damage on enemies. This is the best crowd control ability for Robin. Combine this with elemental charge and enhanced elemental effects, he becomes the best crowd controller in Gotham Knights. Although Microbots is the ultimate momentum ability of Robin, the problem with this is that it has a 10 minute cooldown which is super long. The longest cooldown compared to other heroes. This is the main gripe that I have with Robin and that's the very reason why I seldom use it. How I play Robin in hard difficulty. As I mentioned above, I always open up with a stealth strike to optimize my damage at the very start of every combat. Then I would try to build up my momentum by killing squishy or easy to hit enemies. Once I reach at least 2 points of momentum, I would unleash my fireworks ability at the center, crowded by enemies. I would suggest to use concussive or cryogenic range weapon, as concussive weapons will stun enemies and cryogenic weapons would freeze them. This would give me time to pick up one enemy and knock them out one at a time. This will just give me enough time to build up 2 or sometimes even 3 momentum abilities. 
getting ready to unleash another fireworks. Be careful though, I would like to remind you that Robin is squishy. I would use my healing pack when I am below half of my health bar. I only use ball spin when I encounter a difficult to hit enemy that keeps on dodging my every attack like the drone masters and the talents. Then cloak to set up easy takedowns or if I want to increase my damage for an important attack. Microbots, which is Robin's ultimate momentum ability, is also a good crowd control ability. However, it has a very long 10 minute cooldown. As for the gear, here are my suggestions. For the suit, get the shadow suit. This would increase your damage and crit damage after a stealth takedown until you take a hit, and at the same time gain momentum over time after a stealth takedown. Just an important note, it should be a stealth takedown and not a stealth strike. I tried to experiment it after a stealth strike and it did not give me any bonus. For the bow, get the overtime effect bow. One problem that I see when playing with Robin, especially when playing solo, is that Robin does not have a good healing ability. The only time he can heal is when he makes a stealth takedown. It can only happen before starting a combat. How about during combat? How does he heal? That is why I suggest of using the overtime effect bow as it will grant healing after a perfect evade. It is not much but at least you have a healing ability. As for the slingshot, I suggest any concussive or cryogenic slingshot as these elemental effects would not allow your enemies to attack and I think these are the best elemental effect of the game. So those are my combat tips on hard difficulty, which is good for solo or with a companion. Hope this is helpful, please do not forget to leave a like and for more Gotham Knights videos, subscribe to the channel. And remember, life is good, life is great, be genius in life.